So taking part in the display will be John Bailey, chairman of the Kennel Club Field Trial Committee. He's going to be working his Spaniels and a Labrador in the ring here today. Been competing in trials for over 30 years and has made up 25 field trial champions. He also won the Springer Spaniel Championships with his Springer Spaniel Restmore Fizzy. Joining him with his Spaniels will be Roy Ellershaw, who's made up six field trial champions. He will be showing his Clumber Spaniel, Fen, who's the top winning Clumber in field trials this season. And finally, Rory Major, another member of the Kennel Club's field trial committee with his Hunt, Point and Retrieve breeds. These are the multi-purpose gun dogs. He has shown Brittany's German wire Wirehead pointers and his Hungarian wirehead Vizsla Jago won at the Hunt Point Retrieve Championship, which took place in Yorkshire. So, to take you through the display is the Kennel Club's Gundog Events Manager, Katie Bruce. Thank you all for joining us for our Gundog display, which, as you can see, is sponsored by Basque. We are very proud of our traditional gun dogs here at the Kennel Club, and I hope that you will enjoy our spaniels that we have for you today. I think the handlers are getting ready, so I'll introduce the little dogs. So John will be bringing in Sue, and we are starting with our youngsters. Sue is a very special pup out of John's field trial champion, Fern, who we will see later. And she's very excited, so she's being carried into the arena. Oh, she's my, meet our VIPs. <laughs> there she goes. She's only seven months old, so she's very excited and right at the beginning of her training journey. Roy is, has got Corrie, who is a Clumber Spaniel, also a very young dog. She is bred by John and Jane Smith Bodden, who really championed this breed over the last few years. And Corrie is a stunning example of a working Clumber. She's obviously a lot bigger than Fern, but still also very young. What we are doing here is we're just gonna teach the dogs how to hunt. So the handlers have got very exciting little retrieves. That's a tennis ball in both of their cases. And they're just gonna drop them gently into the brushings. Lots of encouragement. Oh, come on, Sue, where is he? Into the brushings. And then she gets the reward. Lots and lots of praise when she picks that up. Corrie also doing the same. Oh, Roy's got the tennis ball there. Corrie's a little dist... Go on, Corrie. Now, the clumber needs a little bit more encouragement, a little bit more direction. She's very excited by what's been going on on the carpet here today. Oh! <laughs> Fern over here is... Sue, sorry, that's her mother, Fern is getting very excited and you can see that John is encouraging her there to put that very wiggly little bottom on the ground before she gives up the retrieve. That'll be used later on in our training as we progress. Ooh. Good girl, well done, Sue. Now, Corrie, what's she still looking for? Has she got her tennis ball yet? She is still a very young, only nine months old, this dog, so this is still a huge environment for them. Has she found it yet? Has Roy actually put it in there? She's going, good girl. And Roy's crouching down to encourage her there. We want lots of enthusiasm, lots of drive for these young dogs. This is all a game at the moment, nothing too serious. Still hunting these brushings. This is to replicate the cover that you might find out in the field. Obviously, we wouldn't usually do our gun dog work in an arena. These dogs will be working cover on the shooting field as they get older. Now, what we might do next. <laughs> oh, well done. Let's give these a round of applause for that. Come on, they're pretty good. They are only babies. Well done. Now what are we going to do? We're going to be testing our pups on their retrieving skills. This is the next step in their journey. So John's got the tennis ball. Sue knows that it's there. Calling her to him. 
Lots of encouragement, lots of praise. Just holding her there, holding her up. She's seen it and letting her go straight after it and Corrie as well, boof, in she goes. Oh, she's missed it. Here it is. Just give her a little gent. <laughs> well done, Sue. I'm also really pleased with that kick, by the way. <laughs> well done. So that is our puppy. So we're holding them up there. John was holding her up just to make sure that she's got lots of enthusiasm to go and get that. You don't want to encourage them, you know, by forcing them to sit, making it dull. Oh, Corrie's decided to follow. And Corrie's gone back on the lead. And those are our youngsters. Well done. Next, we will be showing our intermediate dogs. So if you were lucky enough to be here on Gun Dog Day last year at Crufts 2023, you would have seen these two as puppies. Now they are fully grown, still only 18 months old though. So they're still on their training journey, not quite yet ready for the shooting field, but they're just practicing. But hopefully they should be able to demonstrate us further skills. So here we have John with Mickey who is, of course, one of the nation's most loved breeds, a Springer Spaniel. And then Roy has got Izzy, who is a very beautiful chocolate tan white cocker. Look how cute she is. So, so now we've done our excitement and enthusiasm with the puppies, we're now teaching steadiness. So we've got the dogs in a sit, we've walked away, the clap simulates a shot fired. Slowly walk back to our dogs. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Wish I could do that with mine. Good dogs. Very well behaved. Lots of praise, gentle strokes to say good, good dogs. Roy's popped a retrieve out for Izzy over there. And he's walking to fetch it himself. This is to teach Izzy that it's not always for her. She's done a really good job there. Good girl, steady. John's done the same over here with Mickey, thrown it out himself. And whilst Mickey really wants to pick that up, John's fetched it and Mickey gets lots of praise. These are really important steps when training your gun dog. It's all very exciting to have the big retrieves and the throwing and, and lots of you know, flashy retrieving. Really what you need to do is to make sure that puppy is steady. Now, we've gone a bit haywire, they are still young dogs. We're getting them to hunt now and you want lots of enthusiasm. Over goes Izzy, over the fence. Our Basque fencing lining the arena here today. Mickey's getting another retrieve. See, he marks it there. Lots of praise for being steady. Called away from it, so he has to now Remember that that's there and do what his handlers instructed him to do, which is to hunt. Is he the same? Hunting on. Another shot fired. Look at that. Beautiful. What's he going to be sent for? Lots of praise for stopping. And sent for the retrieve. Good boy. Well done, Mickey. Encou lots of encouragement, lots of love. And Izzy the same. Well done, little Izzy. Don't mind about the jumping out. We want to encourage these dogs to have drive, enthusiasm, and a love for their job. As you can see, if you were here last year, this is a lot of progression. So we've got John over here, teaching the dog back into the brushings, hunting up. Hunting that cover next to that Basque fencing. Calling the way into a new one. Let's just make sure we get leaves all over the arena. Stop again, good boy. I wish I had that level of control. Dummy thrown. So we've got one out now here. And a second one. Oh, good boy, Mickey, steady. And he's being sent for the second, picked. Beautiful, well done, Mickey. Oh, nearly took it to our VIPs, but decided to return it to John, good boy. 
Now, is he going to remember? Yes, he does. And he picks the second retrieve. Not quite sure about that one. Something more exciting on the floor there. I don't think he's had his dinner yet, just in case you know, we had any accidents. So, <laughs> good boy. Well done. And Roy, going to demonstrate the same exercise with little Izzy. Over she goes. <laughs> Lots of enthusiasm in these working cockers. Hunting her on. What's she going to get? Calling her to him. You want to make sure. Shot fired. Beautiful. Good girl. Where is it? Retrieve thrown. She's getting a second retrieve as well. You can imagine how tempting that is. These are only 18 months old. Oh, she's gotten confused with the white balls. Wherever she goes. Good girl. Back again. Again, a beauty. Hey, she's found it. Good girl. And great pace as she comes back. <laughs> does she remember that she's got a second one? Yes, she does. Good girl. Very clever. That is, I think, what we finished with our second. Yeah. Yep. So that is our intermediate dogs. Now, these exercises, so thank you very much, Mickey, and to Izzy. Absolutely wonderful work. I hope we all do remember them from last year, and we'll hopefully see them again next year at the end of their training journey. But what's this? Rabbits are being snuck out into the arena behind the handlers' backs. Hmm. Some technical hitches with our fake rabbits, but we'll be fine. If you would like to find out how you can get involved with your Spaniel, because I am sure you are all desperate to know, please do visit the Field Trial pages on our Kennel Club website. You can find lots of comprehensive information on how you could find a Field Trial Club near you, or a training session, or indeed visit, if you are here for the whole of duration of Crufts, please do visit Hall 3, the Dog Activities Stand, where the wonderful Kennel Club staff will be able to tell you everything you need to know about getting involved in gun dogs yourselves. Obviously, some of these dogs do work in the shooting field where we would be using live game, but as you can see, we also do work on dummies. So if shooting's not your um, cup of tea, please do don't con not consider using your Spaniel for working. There are plenty of working tests held throughout the country. Indeed, the Kennel Club holds its own working test at the wonderful Cape Thorn Hall in June, and the entries are now open, so if you would like to uh, enter, You'll see us there. Please do come along. We'd love to have you. Even if you just want to visit, we'd be delighted. So these are our advanced dogs. As you can see, no leads. At heel, we have Smudge, the Springer, Fern, the mother of little Sue, and Ember, the little black one. And over with Roy, we have Meg, the golden one, and B, the black one. Now we are going to be doing advanced work. So, Ember, asked to hunt. But don't forget what we put out earlier, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got two at heel, very impressive. Little Ember's over the basque fencing there. Hunting through the cover. What might she find? Fern's desperate to get involved. She stopped, and what, she flushed. Ooh, nothing, apparently. Watching that hunting, turning on John's stop whistle, which is absolutely fantastic. Good girl. And the rabbit goes very speedily, as you can see, across the arena. Shot's been fired. That rabbit's definitely been shot. And she's sent for the retrieve. And she's picked it. Very good girl. Just building on that steadiness that we saw earlier, so she didn't chase after the rabbit. I know lots of our dogs at home probably would have done, so that is great control. You see why we did the foundation earlier. Now let's see if Roy can achieve the same. He's hunting the cover. Are there any more rabbits left in this arena? Let's just check over here. So we've got B, I think, who's doing the hunting. Yes, the black one, and then Meg, who's walking at heel. 
stopped on the whistle there that we saw earlier. Look at those fluffy trousers. I literally love them. Arthur Hunt. Shot fired. And she sent for it. Oh. Pardon? What time? Yay, well done. Fan, oh, these are quite big dummies for very little dogs. Good girl. Lots of encouragement. Now, let's see what we've got for our final exercise. Smudge is up next, I believe. Lovely Springer. Springer, uh, Smudge actually won best dog at the Spaniel Championships this year, so we're expecting great things in this. Just destroying our <laughs> brashings, hunting on. Roy's gonna hunt his as well, absolutely. So this would be simulating as if we were on a picking up team. There's lots of birds down. We need to get dogs out. And a shot's been fired. Retrieve thrown. That's our bird down. Who's being sent for it? And it's little Meg. Oh, she's chosen to go round the fencing. Very smart. Come on, Meg. Over she goes. Good girl. <laughs> Very good. We're going to carry on hunting. And maybe there might be a retrieve on the other side. Go on, Smudge. Show us what you're made of. Good boy. The hunting power of these springers is very exceptional. And is there going to be a shot fired? Shot fired. Dogs are steady. Retrieve out. Smudger goes over the fence, beautiful. Oh, overshot, you didn't see it. Hey, good boy. Thank you very much to John Bailey, Roy Ellishaw, Fern Smudge, Ember, Meg and B for a wonderful display here in the arena. I do hope you enjoy the rest of your evening looking at our fantastic gun dogs and enjoy the rest of your night. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thank you to John and to Roy. I'm sure we have seen a true insight of the wonderful training that they give to their dogs. Give them a very, very big round of applause. Thank you, guys. Thank